All right. Gamma curves. If uh, having 0 to 255 levels of exposure wasn't weird enough, it gets weirder. Um, exposure values, uh, or EVs, they're logarithmic. They're like two EVs is double the light of one EV. And this is the way our eyes and film respond to light. Digital, the, uh, the digital camera sensor is, uh, it's like this. Ignore these circles. Got excited about the circles. It's linear like this. Um, and so look at how this is, these EVs are distributed where we've got from basically zero to negative six. That's, I mean, having six EVs right here and, uh, oops. And then you've got the other six distributed over the rest of the graph. So you're getting an image. Uh, this is like, this is what it looks like raw uh, if we displayed it on your 8-bit monitor right now. Because, I mean, everything in the image, it's either really dark or just going to show the bright areas. It's either blackness or here's the bright areas. And you can see that in the histogram. Um, when, it, when I <clears throat> take this whole, the same thing and display it log like this, um, see how these are evenly distributed now? However, that makes most of the image dark as shit and then bright as shit suddenly, uh, like the histogram shows. All the data is in the dark area of the histogram, and uh, it's not distributed over the areas where there would be brighter values. So every digital image you see on a computer screen has a, has a, has a gamma curve applied to it to make it look like this, where everything's distributed nicely. Um, see how... This is, uh, I mean, here, here's, here's what I just showed you before. So you add the gamma curve like this to bring up the midtones mainly. Uh, you can note this area is ex being extremely uh, brought upwards and then not so much on the, the, the bottom and top of the thing. So this is good because then everything like, oh, that looks, now it looks normal on my screen. Problem with this is, uh, first off, it's burned in. So... Really, once you shoot something, you're stuck. <laughs> stuck that way. And a uh, quick illustration of this, this is an 8-bit image. If I try to, uh, you know, there's no room to work. I have no extra data. Like, oh, I want to I make it a little brighter. Well, first off, her face is being destroyed. But the, the dark areas, there's no more information in dark areas. Like, look, look at this. It looks insane down there. <laughs> it's just, it's all, there's no data. It's just darkness. Like my soul. So you, you, re, you really, you really not a lot of wiggle room. Um, like how I explained in the last video where here's your 8-bit window and uh, here's your data. If you try to slide this window around, there's no data over here, over here. Um, sometimes, like for example, <clears throat> I mean, th th there is a 16-bit version of this um, uh, that, that I shot on the red. The, there's data out here outside this, the 8-bit window we're, we're looking through. So you can crush that into the 8-bit window or leave some out, leave some in, but it gives you, it gives you the wiggle room. Like I can move over to the dark area of the data, move this window over you know, to the dark, like literally grab this, can I grab this window? Yes, and move it to the dark areas or to the light areas or whatever, or crush it in, make it uh, tone mapped, whatever. Can't do it. When all this is like all, so what you see is what you get right here, so <clears throat> that's uh, that's limitation of of having a gamma curved eight bit image. Um, what with with so when, you're, when you're working with with a like OpenXR file or something, uh, depending on you know if you if you render something out like computer graphics, you, you, all that d information would be in the, the file. And you could you can move the exposure later, and there's no gamma curve, or you, you have the gamma curve. You just take turn off the gamma curve, like all the data is there, um, or even like how we shot in the red, if we exported that as an EXR sequence, it'd be the same thing. And I can show you that, but I just didn't prepare anything. But you, you, where you would be able to uh, sift into the brighter. Actually, let's test this live real quick. We might have XR. Um, so that'd be a horrible example. That needs to load. Oh, here we go. What's this? Let's do it. 
take this picture of Chaz. <clears throat> okay. Hold. There we go. Um, this this should be. I think this is the raw. It's an EXR export from the raw file from the red camera. Um, yeah, see how it's thirty two. Let's see if we. Uh, uh, see what we get here. Obviously, it's pretty dark. Um, not a great example. Let's see. I'm not totally. Uh, wait, what's the, what does it look like? It's normal. It's an normal image. It's already pretty dark. However, I guess you can see how see how there's. I mean, this is a bad example, it's just a highlight, but. This bright area isn't actually blown out. Um, in this, it's blown out. So if this is an 8-bit image, this whole portion right here would stay white. But you can see that uh, there is room to work. Um, and if we go brighter, it's getting a little grainy. So not, not the greatest example, but sort of illustrates the idea that uh, yeah, this would be better if there was actually something back there, but this is just a black background. All right, well, anyway, you get the idea. So uh, that's, <coughs> that's Gamma Curves. Merry Christmas.